All right, blind pimples. You probably know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, these are those underground pimples that you feel they're really painful, but you can't see visibly on the skin. Now, in this video, I'm explaining to you exactly what you can do to get rid of these as quickly as possible. And the one thing about this is that you can't see them and they can't see you until you can. And then it's really bad and it's too late. I was screwing up this one thing and when I would screw this up, my blind pimple stopped being blind and it would turn into a big inflamed red swollen pimple. And in my experience, it would take at least two to three times as long to go away. And I was just screwing up this one thing and I figured it out. So stick around for the rest of the video because by the end of this, you're gonna know exactly what I was screwing up. So you don't have to screw it up either. Let's get into this blind pimples. Okay, now before we move too quickly, you guys know that Black Friday sales are coming up right now and Banish just launched theirs. It's going for two weeks and it ends on the 29th of November. If you guys wanna get anything from Banish, this is the time to do it. Whether you're gonna stock up for yourself or you wanna buy some gifts, they're doing a buy three, get one free of any item, including all of the kits on the website. If you guys don't know about them already, this is by far my favorite skincare company. It's also the skincare product that I've used the most to get rid of my acne scars. And I've seen about a 40 to 45% improvement since using them. I'll put a link to that in the description below and also my discount code. You can use that even on these Black Friday sales. So Brian5 will get you $5 off. Seriously, this is the perfect time to stock up for any Christmas presents you want to get for yourself or any of your friends or family or your girlfriend or anything like that. So do it right now. Don't miss out on it. Okay, so some people are more predisposed to getting blind pimples. Some people get them all the time. Some people only get them once in a blue moon, but essentially it's the same as any other type of pimple. It's caused by dead skin cells clogging up pores and bacteria getting stuck in there. And then it causes a pimple, except this one is just underground. You usually will feel a lot of pressure and it's usually for me a lot more painful than a visible like pimple, like a whitehead. And for me, it's really annoying because I always like push on them when I'm sleeping on my pillows and stuff. It, they suck, but there's stuff you can do. So here it is. So the first thing that you can do and probably the easiest is to use a warm compress. Now you can go and buy like a special compress online, but really what you can do is just get a towel, soak it in warm water. Don't go too hot. You don't want to burn your skin. And then just hold on your face for about two or three minutes. And you can do this about three or four times a day. Now, the purpose of this is not to create a white head or bring it to the top of the skin, but this just helps move along the blind pimple by causing your skin and your body to reabsorb what's going on in the blind pimple and just move it along faster. So all this does is just move the process along quicker and it does also kind of feel good and kind of relieve some pain. So now number two, when you want to actually attack it directly with some sort of topical, what you can use is a retinoid and you can get a different or a dappling gel on Amazon. It's super cheap. This is probably the one that would work the best because usually you have to get a prescription for it. This is the only one that you can get without a prescription. I actually use this all the time. But the purpose of this is that retinoids increase your cell turnover rate. So it increases the speed at which your skin like gets rid of old dead skin cells and then creates new skin cells. So the turnover rate causes that blind pimple to move along faster. This one I think is probably the best out of the three of these things that I'm going to tell you. And again, it's super cheap on Amazon. Just look up different gel. I use this stuff all the time, even not for blind pimples. It is really, really good stuff. If you haven't seen my videos about retinoids and different, you should see them because they're fantastic. Okay, so number three, what you can do is use a pimple patch or a pimple sticker. These got super popular over the last year or two, and they're literally ever. You can even find these like a CVS, like your drugstore and stuff. They're usually pretty cheap. And basically this is just like a little sticker that you put on top of your blind pimple. And these are advertised specifically to help blind pimples. And what it does is creates a nice warm and moist environment where it can move along that skin cell turnover again quicker, but also what's inside of those pimple patches is salicylic acid, usually benzoyl peroxide, a couple other things, sometimes, um, you know, like tea tree oil or witch hazel. And all that stuff can basically increase the speed at which your blind pimple moves along. And also it, it's kind of nice because if you do have any redness, it does kind of cover it up. So those three things are fantastic for moving blind pimples along faster. Kind of as an add on tea tree oil can be really helpful too. Of course, you want to dilute that. Don't use it straight on your face and, uh, you know, apply it with a cotton swab or something like that where you diluted it with water as well. That can also help move it along and can 
tighten your pores and kind of make it feel less painful and less red and inflamed. Okay, now I've gotten these pimples for a really long time. And back in the day, I had no idea what to do with them. And I would always screw up this one thing. And then my blind pimple would go from being blind to being very, very not blind. You could see them, they would get really big, get a white head, they'd get red, they would stick around for uh, like at least a month. And I was screwing up this one thing and it's gonna sound obvious, but listen, do not touch them at all. Obviously, do not try to pop them or anything like that. But I'm telling you, when I feel that blind pimple, when I feel that little bit of pressure, and it's always like this really sharp pain, right? It's like it feels like there's a pinprick of pressure. If I even just touch it, even on accident where I'm just sleeping and I kind of rub my face and I go, ooh, ah, and then I touch it again because I'm like, is it there? Right? You know what I'm talking about. You're not trying to do any damage, but you're like, is there something right there? Is that where the blind pimple is? And you start touching your face. If I just do that two or three times, that's it. The next day my blind pimple goes from being under my skin to being a full-blown pimple and then over the next couple days it gets bigger and bigger and bigger even if I don't touch it so I know you've heard this do not touch your pimples but I mean when it comes to blind pump pimples do not even think about touching them do not even rub your face against your shirt collar as you put it on do not rub your face against you know the the side of the the pillow or anything like that try to keep your face away from any pressure because blind pimples are ready to turn into big surface pimples that look a lot more apparent and are a lot more painful. So if you can, don't touch them. But I forgive you if you do, because it's hard. I've done it like a hundred times, but I'm just telling you, if you can, don't. Okay, so there you have it. That's what you can do with your blind pimples. There really isn't a ton more that you can do. You could see a dermatologist. Some people do prescribe like antibiotics uh, that you can put topically on the skin, but really you just kind of have to give it time and do those three things and it will move along a lot quicker. Be kind to yourself. Don't talk down to yourself. It's okay. We all get pimples. We all get blind pimples. Just let it run its course and it will go away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have ever had blind pimples, let me know what you've experienced with them in the comments below or if you have any tips that have helped them move along quicker for you, I would love for you to put those in the comments below. Again, I know I've talked about this a bunch, but do not miss the Black Friday sale for Banish. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. It only runs till the end of this month, and it's a great opportunity to stock up on all the stuff that you like. So for me, vitamin C cream, that pumpkin enzyme mask, those are my favorite products from them. I get a bunch of those loaded up, and right now I have a ton, so I'm stoked about that. Do the same thing. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and remember, you are not alone, you are beautiful, and you are a part of Team Acne. We'll see you beautiful people in the very next video.